Welcome to Wisdom from the Mountain, a podcast about intuition, spirituality, and following your path. I'm your host, Tara Alexandria. I'm a psychic medium, intuitive guide, and healer. I'm here to support you to live from your intuition and find true healing and authentic growth. Thank you for being here and for your willingness to live your best life for yourself and for the world around you. Hello and welcome to Wisdom from the Mountain. Two weeks ago, the new moon gave us for this month the reminder to focus our energy to create our own life, to be the channel for our life, to really be aware of that channel and the power that we have that's always flowing through us to create our days, our weeks, our months and years. Since then, I hope you've thought about the ways that you pour yourself into your time, your relationships, and what you do in the world. Today, it's Friday the 13th, and we have this beautiful full moon in Pisces energy. It's coming in to escort us through the rest of this month, through the rest of this energy that was sparked at the new moon. And this energy is asking you, what do you want to release? What do you want to shed to let go of? because it's a full moon, this is always going to be what it's asking, what it's bringing forward. The theme right now is around power. We're being asked to look at what is not serving our power, what is not serving us, and how we're engaging in the world. This is about how you can feel more like you like your decisions and your actions in this world simply flow without feeling like you're blocked, like you're stuck, or that you're being pushed by some outside circumstance or force. This brings me to how you're going to get to this power. And it's pretty simple, and I've already mentioned it. It is about letting go. It's about that full moon idea of what do you want to release? What do you want to shed to let go of? And what you want to do right now is really hone in on the thing that's making you feel like you don't have power or like you have less power, like you can't make your own decisions or like you can't be yourself in some way. This could be very small or very large. It could be a belief, a habit, or a person. Sometimes we just feel really far away from our own ability, our own capability. And that's all power is, the ability to do something in a certain way. And right now, you have this beautiful invitation to get a little closer to your own power. So I will ask you, what power is that for you? Is it your own healing power? Is it your power to communicate, to create, to relate or begin something, end something, to decide something? What power do you want to increase or own right now? And how can you do that? What is keeping you from it? So often in our lives, we have to find a way to step into our own power. And all that this means is to figure out, to find out that we have the force, the ability to meet a certain end, to get a specific result. And whenever we are feeling out of power, like we don't have power over something in our life, There's a reason, there's a space somewhere where we are allowing something else to have some kind of control over us. And sometimes this can be coming from within us, like a belief, and it can also be coming from outside of us, like a person or an environment or a situation. And no matter where it's coming from, it's really important to look at how to let go of it. Because there's a reason we have allowed ourselves to not have power over that part of our life. There's a reason why we are stuck or feeling blocked where we are. And sometimes it's a perfectly legitimate reason, but other times it is simply a subconscious reaction to the world. It's a way that we always grew. It's a way that we 
always acted throughout life. And then we've suddenly reached a time where we realize that we're feeling stuck or blocked or like we don't have the ability to move past this thing. So what can you shed right now to be just a little bit more powerful? Maybe it's a belief around your own communication with loved ones. Maybe you only know how to be passive with other people. Maybe you only know how to let other people take the reins in your relationships or your living situations. I know that in my own life, I was in that kind of a space for a long time. And it took a lot of learning through roommate situations and all sorts of conversations and fights to really get to the point where I started to realize that I needed to speak out in my environment. I needed to have the force within my life to really say what I wanted, to state my own boundaries, um, and to really have communication that wasn't just passive aggressive all of the time. The funny thing about passive aggressiveness is it comes up as a defense because we don't know how to state our needs or to have our needs met. We don't know how to create our power in the environment, in the situation. And so then passive aggressiveness arises and that becomes a really messy and difficult situation. So maybe it's just your power in communication. Maybe it's just your ability to speak up one more time to someone who isn't listening to you or to someone that doesn't listen to you because you don't try to make them because you don't try to be heard. For me, when I was going through a huge communication barrier in my life and really learning how to open my mouth and to say what I needed to this person, it was like just saying one sentence more than I thought I could made me feel so powerful that I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe the changes that showed up in my life when I started to be able to do that. And I realized that all I had to do was push like one little rung further on the ladder of my own fear. And once I did that, I claimed a little bit more of what really is a natural power to all of us to be our own speakers for our life, but one that we don't always grow up with, that we aren't always told that we can be, and that we can end up um, kind of pushing down within ourselves and keeping it in a box and not ever really exercising it. My right to speak was something that I had to nurture, I had to grow, I had to decide that what I said mattered. And then I had to actually bring it forward into the world. And it was nerve wracking and it was difficult. And it was something that took time and energy. So much emotional energy was involved in this. And once I really started to just push one rung further past that belief that was holding me back, that, that, belief that I couldn't speak, that I couldn't speak up for myself and be heard, that it didn't matter what I thought or what I wanted, the belief itself started to go away. And so that's how I began to shed this subconscious program that kept me completely out of my own power. And the interesting thing about power is that we don't always know when we don't have it, but we always know when we feel powerless because we say things like, I can't, I can't do this. And we feel despair or we feel like we are under the control of something or someone else. And it feels frustrating or overwhelming. And the overwhelm can be even worse because it leads us into this space of resignation where we just give in to what is around us, to the forces around us that are keeping us in their control rather than us being in our own control. 
in our own power, under our own power. And I find it so interesting to even think about the word power and what it means to use your own. So it really is a common thing in the coaching community in a lot of the spiritual community to say things like own your power. But often we don't even know what that means and we don't stop to think about it. But if you can take a moment to think about it, to consider where you are right now with respect to the control you have over certain aspects of your life, and if you notice that there are aspects where you feel like you have no power, you have no control, you have no energy and force and ability to create within it, you can start to ask yourself, where is that coming from? Is that coming from a belief, from a subconscious pattern that's just running you? Is it coming from the people in your life, the people that you surround yourself with? Where is that outside control pushing in and affecting you? So at the new moon, we talked about being the channel for your life, how you pour yourself into your life and how you're creating it. And now this full moon energy is really asking you, is there anywhere in your life that you feel like a stream of water being diverted from your actual goal? Like you are being pushed aside in some way or that you have to redirect your footsteps along your path in order to accommodate other people, in order to accommodate something else in your life that isn't your choice. And it doesn't have to be overwhelming. It doesn't have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be intense. It can be a very small thing that you choose to let go of, to shed. You can simply start to take a single baby step toward growing in your power or toward letting go of what is blocking your power. And you can also make it big, make it huge. You can let go of a person who makes you feel powerless or who speaks over you or doesn't listen to you. That is huge and powerful to do. It's incredible to notice that something or someone doesn't have your highest good in mind and to just say, enough, I don't need this in my life. This is not serving me. This is not contributing to my sense of power in the world. It's not contributing to the way that I express myself in this world and that I live my life. In your life, you want to witness the actual creations that you have been intending. You want to see the fruits of your labor. You want to witness your own skill in creating your life. And anything that is holding you back from that needs to be re-evaluated. It needs to be considered in a way that is conscious, that's aware, that brings things forward in your mind to be understood and so that you can be fully conscious of who you are and how you are in the world. Being the channel for your life, being the body that's in this world, the voice that is in this world, bringing the value that you give to this planet means that you have to be in control of what that is, of what that expression is. When you stay in a state of feeling powerless, of feeling less than, of feeling disempowered, you're really keeping yourself from being fully self-expressed in this world. And that is something that none of us can live without. You have to be you in this world. You have to bring everything you have for all of us. So find a way that you're feeling less than powerful and find a way to bring that power in, to bring that power back or to gain it if you've never had it, if you don't feel that you are powerful. There is always information out there to support you, to find what you need, to get the support, the encouragement, the teaching, the lesson that you need in order to step forward. Meditate on this 
power theme over the next two weeks. Think about how this full moon in Pisces is unveiling something for you to allow you to get a little bit closer to your own power somewhere in your life and start applying it. Dive into that power and see how adding or leaning into your own power that much more affects your life and how it affects anyone else's. Because when you step into your power, you allow other people to see how fully powerful we each deserve to be, and you release them into their power as well. You're a mirror. We're all mirrors reflecting our actions and desires and communication to each other for all of us to see. Thank you so much for listening today. I hope that this served you. I hope that you're feeling connected to yourself, your wisdom, and your spirit. I'll talk to you soon. 